OK, so I wanted to do this video um, so you can kind of see why exactly when we apply even the square root method, you can see why we have a positive and a negative value. So if I solve this using the, um, using the difference of two squares, remember by factoring a difference of two squares, when I have a square term minus another square term, I can factor that into a minus b times a plus b. Well, in this case, um, you can obviously see that x squared is a square term with as x times x, and 9 is a square term, which is 3 times 3. So therefore, I can factor this into x minus 3 times x plus 3. And then, of course, when we're solving by, um, solving by factoring, well, we want to make sure it's set equal to 0. And then now what I'm going to do is you apply the 0 product property. So I have x minus 3 equals 0, and x plus 3 equals 0. And then I solve for x on each one. And therefore, I have x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. Now, the reason, again, why I brought this up is you know, a lot of times students would look at that and say, oh, well, you know, why don't we, oh, almost, why don't we just apply the, zero, uh, the square root method, which is very easy you know, to do for this problem as well. x squared minus 9, you just add the 9, add the 9, so you have 9 equals x squared. Take the square root, take the square root, and then students a lot of times will just say x equals 3. you got to be careful with that because, as you notice, by solving it using the difference two squares, you can see it's positive 3 and negative 3. So even though this course isn't on the square root method, notice that whenever you introduce the square root, our solution is going to be plus or minus 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your uh, quadratic by applying the factoring of the difference of two squares. Thanks.